Okay, so now we're going to do the tech install targeting. So this means when they install a selected technology, can be complimentary, then it will trigger the workflow. So to get started, we click try it now. So when a company, let's say Zoom for example, if they add Zoom, and we're going to limit the enrolled company so we don't chew through our credits. So in this case, I'm going to do 50 just to be safe. And then we're going to apply the company filters. So I want them to be in the software industry. I want them to have a headcount between 500 and 1,000. I want them to have financials of, I want them to have raised to series A, B, or C. I'm not going to use company attributes in this case, but if I was using company attributes, I'd simply select it there. Type and model, not relevant in this use case, but if I were, I'd simply select it here. Location, I want them to be in the US. So if they are a software company with employees between 500 and 1000, and they raised a series A, B, C, and are based in the US, then it will export the contacts. That will be the trigger. So we got to configure the trigger and then the actions. So now I want it to discover up to five contacts and you can do as up to 50, but in this case, I'm going to, to do five. So I don't chew through my bulk credits and they are in my buying committee or alternatively, you simply select the job titles that you want and are in the U S apply that. Then it will export to my CRM in this case as companies and contacts, and it will be assigned to myself, or if you are an admin setting this up, simply assign it to whatever user you want to assign it to. So from here, we're going to turn the workflow on. We're going to close it now. So now this workflow is live. Now, since it has not executed, it's not going to have any data populated. I can show you what a populated data looks like. So from here, I simply select the one that has run and I purposely set this up incorrectly. As we can see in one day, I exported 7.44 thousand actions, 496 companies, 6,094 contacts. Um, so yeah, this is what happens when you improperly configure it. So we can simply turn off this workflow by clicking edit workflow, but in this case, I already turned it off. So if we go back to the workflow list, let's take that one we just set up and let's edit it. So you can simply click edit, click the little pen icon, and then we're going to delete that and add test. All right, now the workflow is off. Each time you make an edit, it turns off. We're going to turn it back on, close it out. And now this is live. So each time it runs this workflow is you'll get an idea of completed, failed, when it was last updated, created, and so on. So yeah, that's how you do tech install targeting.